Hey guys, so in this video I want to cover the difference between a campaign, an ad set, and an ad, kind of what the differences are of all of those, and also kind of talk about the different campaign marketing objectives and when you should use each one, what they do, what they mean, all that good stuff. So let's dive in and the easiest way to really explain all this stuff, you can see kind of you have the look at your campaigns, your ad sets, and your ads right up here. So you can just click and flip through each one of those tabs. And the, the campaign, if you think about it, like should be drawing this on like a board or something like that. It's kind of like at the top and then you kind of like, it's like a pyramid, right? So within one campaign, you can have multiple ad sets and then within each ad set, you can have multiple ads, all right? So um, for example, like one campaign might be to get leads and then you're targeting people in, you know, Texas, you're targeting people in Florida, you're targeting people in California. Those would be different ad sets. And then you would have different, you could have different ads within each one of those ad sets, or you could have the same ads within each one of those ad sets. Now, I know that's probably confusing, but let's jump in and break down exactly what all these are. So if we click on create right here, you can see, so it's start over, we have the campaign. Okay, so campaign, it says, what's your marketing objectives? Like, what do you want to do? Do you want to get people to click to your website? Do you want people to like or comment on your Facebook post? Do you want people to convert into leads? Do you want people to go through and make a purchase? Like, what do you want? So like, that's basically telling Facebook because the truth is, guys, Facebook has so much data on all of their users that they know what users are more likely to click to a website. They know which users are more likely to like or comment on a post, which ones are more likely to buy something online or buy some specific product online or to opt into a, a lead generation site. So all that different stuff. So that's why you want to tell them exactly what you're wanting to do. And that's why a lot of people actually fail with Facebook ads is they'll go through and on their Facebook page. So let me just pull up my Facebook page really quick to show you guys this example. So on their Facebook page here, they'll come down and they'll make a post. And what happens if this will ever load up is you'll get this little boost post button right here, okay? On every single post that you make, boost post, and then people will be like, oh, well, I boosted my post, I like, I, you know, I, I put money behind it, I did the targeting and all that stuff, because they've made it really simple, you just click right there, because obviously they're gonna make it simple because this is an easy way for Facebook to make money, and you just go through, choose your targeting, who you wanna target, and you hit boost, right? You spend five, 10, 20 bucks a day. However, when you go through and hit boost post, this is choosing the marketing objective of engagement, okay? Which means Facebook is gonna show that post to people more likely to like and comment on your post, not necessarily go and click to your website or generate a lead or make a sale or any of that stuff. So sometimes you do wanna do that. Sometimes you do wanna go get the engagement, the social proof behind a post. That's really good for branding, right? But you don't always wanna do that. So the campaign, that is your marketing objectives. And we'll hit those different marketing objectives here in just a second. And then your ad set, this is your targeting, okay? It's who you wanna target. Um, this is gonna where you're gonna target the custom audiences that we've created, the lookalike audiences, all right? This is where you're gonna choose the age, the gender, if you wanted to do interest or a specific location, um, any of that that's all in the ad set level. That's telling Facebook who you wanna target. And then you can see, and it, they've made it really simple. They used to not have it like this but they made the structure very, very simple, okay? And so you can see this, the audience, like I just explained, then the placement, so what the placement is, is are you gonna place your ad on Facebook, on the news feed? Are you gonna place it in the Facebook right-hand column? Are you gonna place it in um, the Instagram news feed? So it's kind of like old traditional marketing. Do you want it in the magazine? Do you also want it in the newspaper? Do you want it on the billboard? Do you want it on the radio? So just like all the different places that Facebook owns, which they actually own quite a bit of, of space, right? So like you've got the Facebook stories, you've got the Instagram stories, you've got you know the Instagram news feed, Facebook news feed, so wherever you wanna place it, we're gonna dive into which placements I believe are the best and when you should go through and you know expand it out to more placements. We'll get into all that stuff here. But then also your, your budget and your schedule. Like you wanna spend $5 a day, $10 a day, $100 a day, or do you wanna spend a lifetime budget of um, $100 over the course of a month, or do you want this the campaign to spend $5 and ongoing until you shut it off, whatever it is, and then the ad, 
is obviously what you actually see on Facebook or even on Instagram. So it's the image, it's the headline, it's the text and the copy and all that stuff. And we'll get into the different ad formats and when to use each one and how to use each one, what, what things to really think about here in a later video. So with that said, guys, when it comes to what's your marketing objective, there's, there's several things that we got to think about. And, and like I said, we need to know what our marketing objective is and Facebook has all of this data on all of these users. So if we want to send people to our website just to kind of check out a new blog post that we have or whatever, we're going to use traffic. If we want them to like or comment on our Facebook post, we would use engagement. Okay, if obviously if you guys have a an app or something like that, mobile app, you'd use this one. I've never used it. If you want people to go through and watch a video that you've promoted, you'd use video views because Facebook knows which people are more likely to sit on their phone or sit on their computer and watch a video on Facebook. All right. Now, this one, as I mentioned earlier, if you're brand new starting out, you don't have any custom audience of any existing users or any existing buyers or leads or anything like that. This is a great one because then you go shoot a you know two three minute video talking about your product services whatever it is, promote it for like five bucks a day, run it for ten days, you spend fifty bucks and you'll have a few thousand people. Usually you can get video views for about one penny per video view. Okay, so if you look at that and that's a three second video view, that's not like a ten or you know twenty five percent view of the video. But if you look at that, you spend five dollars per day. That's 500 people that are watching the video and it's going to be exposed and reach a lot more than that. So that's a really quick and easy way, simple way to go through and expand that audience. Lead generation right here is not necessarily using landing pages. Okay. And we're going to actually do a section on lead forms because that's a little bit, a little bit different, but basically you run an ad and it's to get a lead, right? It's to get someone's name, phone number, email address, or even physical address. And then instead of sending them to another website like a landing page to get that lead, what you're going to do is there's a pre-built form on Facebook. They click it, it pops open, and then it pre-populates with all the information they already have on file with Facebook. Okay, so it's really cool. It's really powerful. There are some pros to it. There are some cons to it. We'll cover those as well. And then messages. This is to get people opting in and starting that communication with Facebook Messenger which is super powerful as well. Uh, if you go through kind of the Facebook Messenger bot um, course that we've got the module in here, then that's going to be able to help you as well with this piece. And then we've got conversions, which this one is going to be more, um, this one's going to be big time with landing pages, right? Or if you're converting somebody into an actual purchase or sale or whatever. Um, so that's with the pixels, creating those custom conversions, all that, that's where you're going to use this. Now, Catalog sales. This is going to be a lot more for e-commerce stuff. But to be completely honest, I've not done a ton with that because I don't run e-commerce stuff. Um, store visits. This is a newer one. I haven't done a lot with that. Brand awareness and reach. I've messed around with those a little bit. But as far as like going through and reaching a broad audience and building a custom audience, I like to use video views still for that. So, um, so those are kind of the different things. And one thing that I would like to just kind of like just say, so you guys kind of are aware. Um, this traffic one, you might look at that and you're like, oh, well, why would I ever use that? Because I'm just going to use the conversions or the lead generation right here if you're trying to generate leads. However, if you guys remember from the retargeting section, if you're not spending enough money each week to get at least 20 conversions, you actually want to do this traffic campaign, okay? Because Facebook's, um, their conversion algorithm, it really optimizes and really starts working once you're getting about 15 to 20 conversions per week. So that's about two to three per day. So if you're spending only like two to three dollars on a retargeting campaign, that's probably not enough money being spent to actually get those 15 to 20 conversions. So what I would do is I would spend two to three dollars on the, the traffic campaign and run that. Okay, so those are just kind of some of the different marketing objectives. We'll get dive in deep into each one of these. We'll show you guys how to set them up. But I just kind of wanted to get to that and explain like why you would use different ones and when you would, and um, then even kind of break down the campaigns, ad set, and ad level. So with that said, guys, I will see you in the next video.